by Quarto Valet down at the Viper detailing barn this evening. Um, been working on this, well, my latest project, uh, 1982 Mercedes Benz W123 230TE. I've done a couple of videos on it now. I'm making progress. It's slow um, with all the other things I've got. I've recently purchased an Austin 7. I've been working on that um, with work as well. So I'm finding it difficult to, to get the time to, to do everything I want to do on this, but I'm getting there. Um, it was never going to be a quick project. It had been stood in a barn since 97 and not moved since. So I knew it was going to take some time, but I'm definitely making progress on it. All the brakes are renewed now. Everything, uh, discs, pads, flexi hoses, handbrake cables, shoes, calipers, all done. Just need to bleed them up. I went out and bought a brake, brake bleeding kit today. Um, so I should be doing that very shortly. Not today, had enough for today. I've had it running. Um, it was a bit lumpy, but I'm not surprised. Uh, it hadn't run, like I said, since 97, but uh, it definitely ran. I took the tank out, that was all cleaned out. Got rid of all the old fuel, which had gone like tar really, but that's all gone. and put in fresh fuel and it, it definitely fired. So today I've put in new plugs, um, also new HT leads. Um, there's some other bits and pieces I've bought that I've not fitted today, but they will, will get fitted. Bought a new battery for it as well, just so that I could, you know, stop using other batteries and jump packs and all that kind of stuff. That was getting on my nerves. So I bought a new battery. So that will make life much easier. Um, started today, noticed, oh, need to focus, remember I've got a camera in hand. I noticed that the aerial was working when I connected up the battery, but it wasn't going all the way down. So I've decided, <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll quickly have a look at that. Well, that's escalated into something far more than that. Not that the aerial was any worse than I thought it was, but it's just, I started to take out the wheel arch liner. Now I've decided I'm going to take out all the wheel arch liners, which has meant one or two of the screws have snapped, which again, I'm not surprised at. Um, so I'm going to take all the wheel arch liners out and thoroughly clean within the arches, leave them out until it, it's been for paint and welding, uh, and then put them in again with new screws and washers. Uh, Mercedes-Benz ones, I want to do it properly. I don't even know if there's any in the back, actually. I need to have a look. No, I don't think there is. I think they're just in the front. Um, you can have a look in the boot, building a selection of, of products that I'm going to need. Uh, took off the badge today, ready to, ready to go for paint. Well, not the badge, but the, the car when it's ready to go for paint. Um, took the star off the boot lid or the tailgate, which was actually, I thought they were press fitted in, but they're not. Um, that was, that was fitted via a 13 mil nut with a the, the stud that was on the the star so i've got that off um took off the inner carpet area that was on here and the plastic that runs along here to do one thing that just escalated into something else because i thought well while i've got that off i'll take this off notice that some of the clips on the that go on the on the tailgate here the carpet area a couple of them were broken, so I've taken one of them off that's good. So I can use that as a pattern and get some new ones from Mercedes. Fortunately, there was only four to hold it on, so that's not too drastic. I'll get those. But you can see building up a collection of parts here. Um, service kit, which I've already done, the spark plugs and, and the HT leads. New wiper blades, I'll put them on once it's all painted and done. Um, I've got a new wiper arm coming. Um, because the wiper arm had sheared all its teeth. Uh, fortunately, it was the arm, not the motor, so that, that's good. Makes life much easier and cheaper. Um, just doing loads and loads of little things, and it, it, it seems superficial in terms of it's not fully running yet, and the paintwork needs doing, and some of the, the rust that needs taken care of. But all the little jobs I'm doing at the moment, they're all jobs that need to be done at some time, so uh, just as well do them now and it was going to make the the fit up of the vehicle easier and more pleasurable when when i know everything else is done so 
That was fine. I'll just show you inside because I've wet and dry extracted the interior a couple of times and it's it's vastly improved. I'm really pleased with how that's come up, but that's also a lot to be said for the quality of Mercedes-Benz interiors, certainly of this era and before and just after. Superb interiors. And this one is, is no exception. So you can see, I'm gonna go over them again. There's still a couple of little patches that, that uh, just need a bit more doing. It's difficult to see when the seats are all wet, but once they dry out, you can see the bits that need a bit more work and very little now. Now I'll just show you the rest. This is all gonna be taken care of. Um, not new wings, gonna make these good, which is uh, nice and sweet, decent, really good quality wings, as you'd expect from a Mercedes of this era. Um, to show you the interior from this side. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's not very clear, but I can see it quite well. It's just come up so much better. Uh, yeah, it's really good. A couple of little areas I'm still going to do. Um, just a little bit along this edge. Still a bit dirty. Um, that'll come up nice, the same as all the rest of it. Just needs a bit more work. But every time I do it, I think this is the second time I've done it now. So I'll do it three times. It'll come up really well. So getting excited. Oh, I've fixed the roof. The roof wasn't really opening very well, but managed to get that open and lubricated everything. And now that, that works really well. Um, yeah, very pleased. Yeah, very pleased. And it's coming along nice. Coming along very nice. There we go. Viper Auto Valet. More videos to come.